Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to reading for the, uh, this is for the end of the year. We are going to look at uh, what you can do to make sure that 2024 doesn't slip away from you and uh, what um, what move should you make at the end of the year here to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, you start off with this expo uh, exploration card. It says, right now you need to search and explore. It's okay to wander until you find your home. You have the speak your truth card and it says, choose your words wisely. Uh, remember that your words have consequences. And so, um, yeah, I would definitely, we are kind of like in a time of manifestation. And so I I would say that it is, of course, a really good idea to uh, watch your words and make sure that you're not, um, you know, saying things against yourself or, you know, make sure that you're not saying bad things about yourself as well. And, you know, that's what I would definitely pay attention to uh, with this energy. But uh, let's see. Uh, you start with the King of Swords here. Yeah, it's like uh, very, there is kind of like a withdrawn energy here um, in this reading or a more, um, you know, kind of uh, serious energy, I would say, to the reading. And, you know, these readings aren't meant to be good or bad necessarily. Again, these are the next moves you should make so that you can accomplish something by the end of the year. But um, again, the King of Swords, he has a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Uh, he's also very discerning. And on top of that, he can be very serious. So I just kind of feel that you could be in a very intense energy and you are a Scorpio, you are very intense. So that makes perfect sense. Um, you know, maybe you want to dial it back or something in, in certain uh, moments, right? Like if you're trying to like meet a person or something uh, that could turn them off. But, um, you know, overall, I kind of just get like a, a serious seriousness uh, with this energy. I thought I was going to get more off of this card, but I'm not. So we're, we're going to move on. Uh, next, your crossing energy is the Five of Pentacles. The crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you in a Celtic cross. And the Five of Pentacles, of course, is about feeling left out in the cold. Uh, the, five, the solution uh, to the Five of Pentacles is to double down on your strengths. And it says, do not call attention uh, to your weaknesses. So I feel for a lot of you, again, the solution would be to double down on the things that you're good at and to not focus on what you're not good at. I also feel that some of you uh, with these two cards here, uh, the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles, uh, you could be thinking about making a change in uh, the way that you earn your money. And I feel like this is a big yes. Like I'm literally just getting a green light uh, popping into my head right now with those two cards. So if you're thinking about, you know, doing something different, getting a new position, you know, that could be a big move uh, that you make at the end of the year here. And I think it would be very good for you. Uh, in the area of your thoughts you have, or what's on your mind, you have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords can be a couple of things. Number one, it could be you uh, thinking about taking a risk. And um, all three water signs have had something about taking, uh, needing to take a risk at the end of the year here. And so again, uh, that kind of makes sense. The other thing is, is that this could represent thinking about walking away from something, and that's more what I feel for you. Um, we go down to the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles says, "Is the juice worth the squeeze? You know, is it worth it to do some to keep investing in something, or is there something better?" And then we go to the Knight of Wands. It's like ultimately, I feel like you are going to be going on a new adventure. So, you know, if you're already thinking about like, should I get a new job? You're you're probably already going to do it in the future, so you might as well do it now. You know. Tarot, I always say, is all about getting ahead of the energy. And so, again, you don't have to wait. You know, even though this is showing up in the area of the next few months, you don't have to wait. You can start doing this now. Uh, but you could be thinking about moving away from anything. It could also be a relationship as well. And I feel like the Knight of Wands is saying, you're going to do it anyway, so you might as well just get it over and done with and do it now. Uh, next, in the area of your foundation... You have the Temperance card. I feel pretty good about the Temperance card here. Temperance is about trying to turn one thing into another. You know, it's a card of alchemy. Uh, he's This Temperance angel is trying to turn water into wine, and he's mixing those cups back and forth. So the Temperance card says you can turn a negative or into a positive, or you can also turn a positive into a negative in your life. And I feel for a lot of you that, again, um, that card said speak your truth, choose your words wisely. And so you could literally be speaking your reality into to existence and the temperance card would say make sure to keep it positive so that you create a positive reality uh, the other thing about the temperance card is that sometimes i feel that he is trying to perfect something like he's trying to make something too perfect um, this path right here is a path to glory and there's this glowing crown back here and it you know he could just get onto that path he doesn't 
you know, he doesn't have to keep trying to make something perfect. Like the time is now. And I feel that for some of you here. It's like if you're thinking about doing something, um, we go seven of pentacles to the ten of cups here. Um, ten of cups is like fortune after difficulty, you know, can represent happy home, happy family, but this does not have to be love. This could just be something that you're dreaming of doing. And I feel like the temperance card is kind of saying, you like you just get the time is now. Just get started now. Um, you know, don't try to wait until things are perfect, right? Uh, next in the area of the past position, this is the energy that you are moving past. You have this follow the moon. It says watch for signs on it. You also have this moon goddess. It says higher power. Yeah, there could be a lot of signs, symbols, synchronicities. It is a very like intuitive end to the year. And so you could be getting a lot of intuitive messages or having a lot of intuitive insights or um, visions or thoughts. And I do feel it would be a great time for you to like trust the, your intuitive sight, you know, or your intuitive visions. Uh, also in the past or the energy that you're moving past, you have the eight of cups. Uh, this is a pretty good card to have in the past position because it literally says you're walking away from things that no longer serve you. So if you're walking away from anything, it there's probably something better that you're walking towards anyway. I always say we don't really know what he is walking towards. Some people say that he is walking towards the nine of cups. Uh, which could be true, but we don't really actually know that. And, uh, you know, all we know is that he is walking away from th these eight cups because they don't fulfill him any longer. And like I said at the beginning of the reading, you have the seven of swords and the, uh, or the five of swords, seven of pentacles, knight of wands. It looks to me uh, like you are going to walk away from something anyway, so you might as well do it now, right? I don't, I don't think like waiting is going to be beneficial. Uh, next, in the area of the very near future, you have this African lynx. It says silence, body language, and prophecy. You also have this cheetah. It says speedy, speediness, shrewdness, and loqu loquacious. And so I feel for a lot of you uh, that things could be happening uh, very quickly for you at this time. I also feel that you could be moving in silence. Again, you have that seven of pentacles, and it's clear to me uh, that you're kind of like looking at something that you've been putting your time, effort, energy into, and you're just saying, you know, is it worth it? Like I said, you know, all he's, he is analyzing uh, what he has grown. And he is saying, you know, was it worth it for me to grow these pentacles? Or is there something else that I could grow that would be better? Or is would there be a better result? The other thing about the seven of pentacles is, you know, there could be little parts of this that are worth it. So that's why he is analyzing the seven of pentacles. It's like maybe the pentacles aren't necessarily worth it, but like maybe the fertilizer that he used to grow these pentacles was worth it. So he can he he takes the parts that are worth it and he applies it to something new. And I think that's what's important with the seven of pentacles is that there are certain things that he has learned um, that would benefit him in the future. Let's say that YouTube uh, bans tarot, which I don't know, it's looking a little sketchy. <laughs> uh, they might, right? Uh, let's say that they ban tarot. It's like, yeah, it would suck. Uh, it, obviously, it wouldn't be worth it for me to create videos anymore if they did that. wouldn't even be able to, right? But I could still take all of the things I learned and apply it to something completely different and it would grow, right? And so that's what I feel for you here. That's the best way I could describe it, Scorpio, is that, you know, it's like you can take your skills and you can apply those skills to different things. And it's like maybe the, you know, the same thing won't work, but maybe uh, you applying your the fertilizer, like I said, to something else uh, will cause it to grow. And I think you need to think about that. Uh, next, in uh, in your last row here, you have this it, uh, new moon in Aries. It says it's time it, it's time to take action. I literally said the time is now earlier in the reading, so there you go. Uh, you have a south node. It says don't let the past hold you back. Definitely um, walking away from the past. You have that eight of cups, so I definitely feel this is saying don't let the past hold you back, plain and simple. Uh, in the area of your next few months, you have the knight of wands. Knight of Wands is about being spontaneous, uh, going on adventures, uh, kind of like going, uh, you know, following your desire. Uh, he, to me, he's the true builder in the tarot. Uh, if he doesn't have something that he needs, he builds it. So, you know, let's say he's going on an adventure and he comes to a, a you know, a cliff or like two cliffs. He'll build a bridge across those two cliffs or a river and he will get to the other side. So the Knight of Wands says your journey won't be perfect, um, but you can build what you need as you go. And I feel like you need to remember that. I also feel like things are speeding up. Again, you have this um, cheetah card that said speediness on it, and I kind of feel you are looking for faster solutions, you know? 
instead of doing things the hard way, uh, you're looking for more efficient, faster solutions in like all areas of your life. And I feel that could be very beneficial for you. Uh, next, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Ten of Swords. Uh, some of you could be letting go of a past connection or past connections. Just, you know, it depends on what you're dealing with. The Ten of Wands, or sorry, the Ten of Swords is a kind of like a blessing in disguise. I actually feel that what this is saying is that you could be finding love at the end of the year here, and you could be seeing how a past connection that didn't work out is a blessing in disguise, you know? Uh, he's making this symbol right here. It's the same symbol that the Hierophant is making on his card, and that symbol represents a blessing in disguise. So, you know, really, um, I feel for a lot of you that this could be seeing, uh, saying that you are seeing how a relationship or a connection that didn't work out is a blessing. And again, the reason I say that is because in the area of your future feelings, you have the Ten of Cups literally would say that you are feeling blessed in the future, uh, that you are feeling happy as well, because the Ten of Cups is the card of ultimate happiness. And it's also the card of like happy home, happy family, uh, celebrations, good things coming in for you. And so if you're thinking about making a change, right going this way uh, i feel like you could have this right now the ten of cups and again this reading is all about uh, what moves you should be making at the end of the year so that 2024 doesn't slip away from you and so i feel like if there's something that you're thinking about where you're trying to wait for the perfect moment i feel that this is saying go for it because you could have this right now <laughs> the ten of cups and again this does not have to be love this could be just happiness it could be you being happy with your business or your career or the direction your life is moving uh, I always say that the Ten of Cups is a focus. These people, those cups exist above their heads and they are choosing happiness. They are choosing to focus on what makes them happy. And so, you know, I feel for a lot of you that this is a choice, uh, but it's definitely a choice that I would make. Uh, in the area of your outcome, you have the devil card. Uh, the devil can represent like an energy vampire. We're going to clarify this in just a minute, and we are going to see um, what comes up for you. I, like I wouldn't worry too much about this, but what I would say is that Pisces, Pisces also have the devil. So you know, it, may, it might be like a collective water energy that water signs need to be careful of toxic vibes, toxic energy, energy vampires, you know, things like that. So I would be careful, um, especially with that ten of swords. You know, this could say that maybe there's a toxic person. Um, that is spending that is around you or there's a toxic energy around you and I feel the ten of swords is saying like avoid that energy and make sure that you don't um, you know uh, allow it into your life uh, I would also keep an eye on your habits as well with the ten of, uh, with the devil um, you know not I'm not calling you lazy but we have Mars retro going retrograde at the end of the year and it's in Leo which is even worse Leo is like our life force it's our vitality and so having Mars retrograde there could definitely um, make us lazy and you know really on one hand there's kind of like nothing we can do about it on the other hand um, I, I feel there are things we can do to stay motivated and I would make sure you're doing those things uh with the five of pentacles and the king of swords you have this devotion card okay that i mean uh, i love this card this is like my till death do us part card there's like a dead bird with a living bird like how cute is that right and so you could be discovering a person that where it's like till death do us part you know a very strong connection you know it's funny because i've said this to you before this year it's i, I have definitely said this to you <laughs> that it's almost like you're attracting a person who has been through something very similar to you so it wouldn't surprise me if you're attracting a person if you want love at the end of the year here who has a very similar love story to you and so that's probably why you won't do it to each other right um, but it could be a king of swords you know i would say that you know, with this energy, you could be attracting a person where you don't know how they feel. Or again, maybe you're spying on this person, not calling you out, but I totally am. Uh, you know, it's like maybe you're spying on this person. They have no clue who you even are. <laughs> so uh, you could be attracted to a person that's like hard to read or you're not sure if they're single or what's going on. And I would go for it. It looks really good. Uh, with the Five of Swords, you have uh, this Lost card. Uh, this is Saturn and Pisces. We have Saturn and Pisces right now. Um, there could be something that you have to walk away from. You had a card over here that said, um, oh yeah, like don't let your past hold you back. So there might be something from the past that you're thinking about, like a loss from the past. And I feel that this is saying, you know, don't let the past define you. Don't let the past hold you back. You know, keep moving towards your goals, wishes, dreams, and new things. Focus on new things. Uh, with the Temperance card, you have this Organization card, and you have the Seven of Pentacles as well, which is also Organization. So again, I would be careful of needing things to be in a certain order. And, um, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, that's like the one thing that holds people back the most 
in life is like thinking like, oh, I have to, you know, do, do my business in this order, or I have to get into a relationship in this order, when maybe it's meant to work in a different way. And so I would just stay flexible, especially with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is very spontaneous. He's willing to do things in different ways. And that's why he is successful. Uh, with the Eight of Cups, you have this birth card. Um, yeah, it's like you're rebirthing, really. Um, you know, the Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer serve you. Uh, the birth card would just say that you are kind of like rebirthing something in your life or uh, you're experiencing a rebirth or a new direction. And of course, that would be good for you here, Scorpio. Um, but let's see here. Uh, let me just shuffle this. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, you have this Lust card. Yes, there definitely could be a very strong uh, lusty connection coming in for you here. Uh, so again, that would be good. I would also say that the lust card can represent having a thirst for adventure. And we go down to the king, of, uh, sorry, the knight of wands. So a lot of you could have this like uh, desire for freedom in the sense that you want to adventure, you want to explore new ideas. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have to travel, but you could just be wanting to explore uh, new ideas. You could be doing this from the comfort of your own home. And I do feel this is saying like, go for it. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have this Revenge card. Uh, I would be careful of any past people at the end of the year here. Again, they're, um, you know, this could also be you. It's like, I'm not calling you out again, but it's like, you know, sometimes we break up with a person and we're like, you know what, I really wouldn't be too upset if that person, you know, um, uh, accidentally tripped and uh, busted their knee, right? <laughs> and so, you know, I feel like this is saying, focus on you, don't focus on the past, or it doesn't even have to be love, you know, this could be anything, but it's like saying, don't worry about what's happening to someone else. You know, someone left me a comment a while ago, and they said um, that they're having a hard time moving forward because they haven't seen their ex getting karma yet. And I, sa I said to that person, you're not going to see your ex get karma. Sometimes they don't. And uh, this person was all worried about, you know, what a horrible person um, their ex was and how, you know, how, how come they get to have love and, you know, all this other stuff. And I said to that person, it's like, you don't really actually know what is going on behind the scenes. You don't actually know um, that they are happy. You don't actually know that they are in a good relationship right now. But um, on, on top of that, you know, I said to them, if they're, if your ex is really that bad, they I, they will get what the, what's coming to them. But you know, the best thing you can do it is your duty. If, if you if someone has done you dirty, to live your best life, it is your duty to uh, kind of live your life in the best way possible and improve it and get something better. Like who cares what's going on um, with a past person, right? Don't let them live in your head rent free. And I kind of feel like that's what this is saying. It's like, don't worry about getting revenge, just move forward. Yeah, well, here's another thing. You have the Ten of Swords, you have this Influence card. All the water signs have this. Um, I would be very careful of like allowing someone to get in between you and another person. So if you do meet a new person, you know, I would, and this has come up all year. It's been kind of like a weird year. I kind of wonder if it's Mars retrograde because Mars retrograde can bring in weird energy. But I would be careful if like a person is like, oh, don't date that person, they cheat. Or it's like, maybe you start dating a person that like their ex comes in is like, oh, this person is a cheater. This person does this and that. It might not be true. It might just be a person who's like jealous or is wanting to get in between you and another person. So I would be very careful of like external influences on new connections. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have this Exalted card, not even going to matter, right? <laughs> this Exalted card says something is like spiritually blessed in your life or something is meant to be in your life. So even if other people uh, try to get between you and another person, not even going to matter because it's like this is something that's spiritually uh, guided or spiritually meant to be in your life. Uh, with the devil card, you have this optimism card. Yes, so uh, focus on the bright side, right? Keep it optimistic. You have this the speak your truth card, which again said choose your words wisely. So no devil talk, right? I would speak positively over um, the experiences you want to have or whatever it is that you're trying to do. I would speak more positively about those things. So uh, let's see. You have this crack cup card. It says dissatisfaction with life. I really like this card <laughs> because it's like sometimes dissatisfaction is the thing that we need to motivate us to make the change that improves our life. And, you know, it's a good reading, but it's not like a great reading, right? I mean, there are good cards here, um, but you, you have the five of swords, seven of pentacles, you know, all the, uh, the devil at the end, ten of swords. So it's like there are, you know, cl it's clear to me that there is dissatisfaction here, but I would use that energy to motivate you to do something different. And that's what I would do there. Uh, you have this bird flying. It says news is on the way. Uh, definitely could be good news coming in for you here. Uh, you have this coins card. It says money will be coming to you. Love it. <laughs> definitely could be raining, uh, making it rain here, Scorpio, with the coins that seem to be raining out of the sky on this card. 
Uh, you have this face card. It says secret admirer. I, I feel like you are the secret admirer. Like I'm not calling you out, but I totally am. Uh, I feel like maybe it's you that is kind of has their eye on someone. And if you don't, then that part of the reading isn't for you. But for those of you who, um, you know, I can see spying on people on Instagram or wherever you spy on them, um, then, you know, I would make your move or do something. Uh, you have this dragon. It says, beware of self-delusion. I would be careful of delusional people. Again, you have the influence card, ten of swords, the devil. You know, again, um, it, it's not like a bad reading, but there, you know, there, it definitely could be a time where you're dealing with people who are like delusional, and I would avoid those people. But uh, this looks pretty good here, Scorpio. So thank you for being here, and definitely enjoy the rest of the year.